So this is a strat my basic strategy guide for um, Banner Saga. Okay, for guys who are like me who just got this game and are trying to figure out how the logic of it works. So this is a attrition based combat system, uh, turn based. Um, weird, you cannot attack diagonals. Um, diagonals cost way more. Uh, way more than uh, diagonals cost way more and you can only move forward and sidewards. Um, so the movement costs are determined by that. So y it creates this weird uh, hex layout when you see their movement. So these guys, I know these guys can move almost like three times their spaces. So I will move them here. S I will move this guy here. I'll move this guy here. Okay. Uh, and I predict that if one of these guys are first, um, call this Grunulf will be able to kill him first. So um, you'll turn this on to be able to strategize how best to hurt them. Oh god, these guys' stats are really low. So I'm, I'm, this is really good. Oh, I forgot this. I didn't see this guy. Mm, he can be first. So the best position is this. Still this. The re the because here, this can easily re he can easily reach it. Uh, here, um, it'll take him at least two turns to reach it. Okay. Okay. So this guy is next. Okay, let's eliminate this guy. Um. So I'll deal four damage to him I'll deal 4 damage to him uh, plus 2 okay so 6 so his is 4 and he he'll have a hard he'll try to attack my armor okay whoa Best guy to attack because he lowers. Okay, so next is this guy. So I want to draw them in. Let's see. Ooh, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Okay, so you want to make it that th you're in a position to hit them first. So that's a very important thing. Either reduce their armor or reduce their damage or buy yourself more time by giving ground. So we're going to... So, so as I move here, you can see I can deal 4 damage and eliminate this guy. But if I eliminate this guy, uh, there, my, my units are in a position to cause them to go here. So let's cause them to go here. Okay, I don't need to spend will. Okay, so exertion is one of the first things you level up. Uh, so I look at this and I look these are the places that he can't attack me so I position myself at the edge <coughs> sorry and uh, and turn nice okay so he will be here so I will just move one space and turn. Okay, I will. Okay, if I attack this guy, I will deal six damage plus two and eliminate him. Okay, attack six plus oh one. Oh well, he'll have to attack my armor then. <coughs> so this guy will try to hurt me. This guy He's next. So he doesn't deal damage. This guy's next. So I want to be at the edge of his ability to attack. He's 
he will then who goes after this guy ah moger so i need to position moger just right for this guy okay 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 so uh so this guy i need to position here and turn okay so i know i can attack him from that position and still be out of reach of this guy so the question is when's this guy gonna get his turn is it who is after moger oops i did not allow Moger to move. Oh. So, but I am worried about this guy. So let's let's try to reduce his armor, or yeah, let's reduce it so that he cannot deal any damage. Great, because that that means he uh, call this Gunolf can can uh, hurt this guy. I still have a lot. Okay, after this guy, this guy. Let's see. Oh, nice. So, if I... Hmm. I have to position where he can't hurt me. Okay, so I position here so that Yeah, I have to position here. No, I can either position here or here. Finish this guy off. No, I wanna I wanna finish this guy off. Okay, he's gonna hit Whoa. Oh, because of my armor is sh shit. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I can eliminate this guy, or I can eliminate this guy. My attack is one better plus three plus two yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna lower his ability so i don't need from here i can attack him and reduce him to two <coughs> So he's so I can okay and end game okay so okay there this makes my job easier and. Okay, so there I really have no other point, uh, no other choices. It's really that uh, because it's a nutrition-based game. Okay, uh, yeah. So if yeah, there's no other choice. So no, no, I noticed something about it. Some um, you gotta have enough reserve. I, there, it's a possible. It's possible that you spent all will to win a battle, and that you wouldn't. Uh, uh, you you still have a healthy amount of stats, and when when you have a second wave, 
you replenish will uh, so you can and uh, note that uh, when I'm playing with Hakon as the leader uh, spoiler alert um, I'm able to use formations so it'll, they'll ask you if you want to charge formations but you're usually uh, equal number anyway so um, when you have form uh, and rarely do you have rarely are you super are superior number so typically it's formation and then I have a small amount of enemies then I beat them and then uh, you beat the enemies and if you survive a second wave you get an item and of course you get more and more uh, 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 you get more renown if you fight a second wave uh, so you can level up more um, so yeah um, when it goes to Rook's storyline since humans have roughly um, uh, six to seven, six to nine uh, stat range, uh, so when when you're using rook and you have a six to nine stat range, uh, so these are like human stats. So giants have like the uh, yeah, varl have like much higher stats, almost double the strength. Uh, and of course when they're a uh, special type like um, what you call this they're shield master they can have double the the armor um, yeah when they're the special type uh, they can have double that and yeah this is really just your your attrition points um, primarily this deals damage this is your se your your first line of defense if your armor exceeds their strength and only these guys can exceed uh the arm their the strength of of uh full out fighters so these guys would deal only one to two points of damage to these guys uh, if they only attacked their uh strength and these guys can only uh, typically they're breakers so they can only reduce the armor of these guys for another guy to to hurt like an archer or uh an archer or a spearman so that's what's interesting about it and yeah um one of the things uh uh call this so yeah so um this is the f f so you have 31 and it, um, 5 points for the first level, 10 points for the next level, 15 points for the third level, uh, sorry, 5 points for the second level, 10 points for the third level, 15 points for the fourth level, and so on and so forth. So it's get more expensive, so it means I can level up everybody at 5, 10, 15, and then 20, at 20 I could level everybody up, or I can buy... Uh, items in in um, from merchants. Uh, that's the thing. Um, when you're leveling up, also somebody, you can do this before the battle. So once, as soon as you see this screen, you can click on them and level them up before the battle. And one of the weird things is that you level up sometimes instead of gaining two points, you gain four points. And I don't know why. Uh, when you're leveling up a character, typically the first thing you level up is exertion, and uh, exertion, and their primary sh uh, capabilities. Because exertion determines their first strike advantage. Meaning, if you position yourself just right, you can you can cause the opponent to co uh, to come in, and you to close the gap and deal the first damage that reduces their strength below your health below be your, be your armor so if you do that then moving forward um, you will be on the winning side of the of the fight especially when you pour uh, uh, what you call this will so uh, one of the videos I forgot to name the guy he thought this was uh, already full no this is your stat this is your maximum a stat can be and your morale will determine how much more uh willpower your 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 team will have okay so so i i really recommend that 
uh, call this you use the training to figure out how things work learn how to use the combat UI um, the combat user interface um, when you're looking at your opponents um, look at their strengths so look at their look at their strength return the favor so he doesn't seem to have a special attack he just has returned the fla favor bloody flail series of strikes randomly strengthen armor um, call this in the shield ball plus one adjacent allies yourself so uh, these guys heavy impact the one that deals uh, splash damage so anything adjacent to each other so if I attack this guy and this guy's adjacent he takes damage only non-diagonal remember non-diagonal keep forgetting that uh, and then this guy uh, return the favor uh, bring in the pain it's a armor breaking attack causing you to increase the amount of um, armor break every attack takes you so um, uh, typically so well uh, uh, yeah so this is the way this kinds of characters are used is that uh, what you call this they soak uh, with their with their with their uh, armor um, and oh yeah th these guys move less like this guy would only move like um, call this uh, six squares instead of eight squares like these guys these guys can move eight squares yeah so there draw them in but since I have first move I'll put this guy here if because it, it c this can either be if he moves because of this position he cannot uh, have a good position so actually I can put them all here okay so that's uh, my strategy guide I hope uh, it, it, you know I am coherent Okay, good luck. Uh.